Hello, people. Hello, good, e good evening. Good evening. Oh, give me a second. I need my... Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Excuse me, I have to go for my earbuds for my <clears throat> okay, how are you today? How are you guys? How are you, teacher? Are you ready for a new class? Yes. Perfect. Okay. I have a, I have a quote for you from What's up? Okay, let me share the screen with you. Mira que no vaya a Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Can you read that that quote? <clears throat> there is no substitute for hard work. There is no substitute no. for hard work. Can you read that? No pueden leer. There is the substitute for hair work. Yes. There is no substitute <coughs> for hard work. For hard work. Uh, Thomas Edison said that. Mr. Thomas Edison. Okay. Repeat after me, please. There is no substitute for hard work. There is no substitute for hard work. Okay, so good things don't come easy. Yes, good things need or require hard work. Okay? Okay. English is good, but it's not easy. We need to work hard. Okay? okay. And what, what is hard work? Trabajo duro. No hay sustituto para el trabajo duro. Okay, if you want to get something good, you have to work hard. So, congratulations, because you are 
taking an English class at 9 p.m. And that is not easy. Yes? yes. You, are, you are at home. It's not easy because you have your children. Yeah? Next to you. You have your bed next to you. People is watching TV. People want to go out. And you are in the class. That's good. That is hard work. Okay? Because you are getting something good. Están esforzándose por algo bueno. Okay? Congratulations for you. Thank you, teacher. So, said so that, let's get started with the class. Okay. Okay. Last class. Okay. Today we have a video to start. We start with the class. Okay. Let me look for this video about directions. We are going to talk about directions. Last class, we talk about prepositions of place. But today we are talking about directions. Okay. Direction is different from address. It's not the same. Direction is different from address. What is address? La dirección de la casa. La dirección, el domicilio. Okay. What is direction? Saber dónde está algún lugar. Ah. Pero hay demasiada interrupción. Yeah, please turn down the volume, the TV, or the radio. Okay. Directions are instructions. Okay. Directions are instructions. So, if you buy a new product, the new product has directions or instructions. Okay? That is directions. Okay, I'm gonna play the video. Okay, that's the play, you see? Watch the video, please pay attention to this vocabulary about directions. Gracias, Benjamin. Ya no se oye. Dice mi mano que me puede ir a traer al muchacho. Por favor. Dice. Hi everyone. In this class you learn how to ask for or and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. 
St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice. Practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary, turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Okay, okay. Well, let's practice the, the conversation. We're going to practice the conversation we have. Um, I give you this.
where is the con this conversation? Okay, we are going to practice the conversation. It is, is it far from here? Okay, is it far from here? The conversation we are going to practice. Okay. Uh, so tell me what do you see in the picture? What do you see in this picture? This picture. Hello. Uh -huh. Turista. Okay. Who is the, who is the tourist? The man or the woman? The man. Woman. Empire State. Ah, is the Empire State Building? The man is the tourist or the woman? The man. Ah, the man. How do you know the man is the tourist? Because she has a camera. Yes. A book. She has a camera and a book. Okay. Okay, um, very good. And what is the woman doing? She described the, the place. Okay, she's describing the place. She is giving instructions. She is giving directions, okay? Directions to the man. Very good, very good. Okay, and where are they? Where are they? Hello. ¿Quién está leyendo ahí que pueda leer en, en, en baja, por favor? Caballero. Eh, where are they? In Padre Cadra, they are in Padre yeah. Cadra. What, what city? What? New York. Ah, they are New in New York. York. They are in New York, exactly. Okay, let's practice the conversation. Listen and repeat, please. Repeat after me. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Excuse me, ma'am. Can, can you help me? Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Oh, How do I get, get to, to St. Patrick's Patrick Cathedral? <laughs> Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. Just walk up 5th Avenue to 5th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. St. Patrick's is on the right. Right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? It is near Rockefeller Center. Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Um, thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Thank you. Thank you. Is it far from here? It is far from here. It's right behind you. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. You just turn around, around and look, look up. Look up. Okay, very good. Uh, 
También me escribe por aquí, pero yo supuestamente los he activado todos los micrófonos ahorita. Es que sí, el sí, teacher está dando ese problema porque a mí me había, se me había bloqueado y tuve que salir y volver a entrar. Sí, yo los tengo todos activados. A no, si no ya. le funciona, actívelo directamente. Porque yo los he activado. ¿Y me escucha a mi teacher? Sí. ¿Me escucha a mi? Hija, abra la pestaña de la puerta, por favor. Ah. Okay. Now, one more time. I am the tourist and you are the woman, okay? Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk on Avenue to the right. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, yes. Thank you. Where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. It's right behind you. Okay, very good. Very good. Now you are the tourist and I am the woman, okay? Okay. You begin. One, two, three. Excuse me, man. Can you help me? How do I get to the cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. Where is the building? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation? What is ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. Madame, señora. Exactly. It's short for madame. Y es otra, una forma formal de dirigirse a una señora. What else? I want you to repeat this pronunciation. Cathedral. 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 Good. And if I ask you, um, where is St. Patrick's Cathedral? Where is St. Patrick's Cathedral? With the information in the conversation. The Fifth it's Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Aha. Uh -huh. It's on Fifth Avenue. Okay. Very good. And uh, where is uh, the Rockefeller Center? It's right across, across, across from Rockefeller Center. Near of the cathedral. Ah, it's near of the cathedral. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, uh, I'm going to put you in pairs to practice the conversation, okay? Okay. Two minutes. Six groups 
Okay, very good. Okay, enter to the groups, please, and practice the conversation. Blanca, enter to the conversation, please. Perfect. Is is uh, is is near Rocker Center. Rockefeller. Rockefeller Center. Hi, teacher. Hello. Por aquí I, me I yes, yes, I have yes. I have a question. Okay, tell me. The pronunciation Fifth mm -hmm. Avenue y, y el 50 is the is the same. Fifth F. Fifth F. Yes. Fifth and fifty F. Fifth Avenue to fifty F Street. Ah, so oh, fifth, fifth Avenue, Avenue to fifty S Street. Yes. Fifty F. Fifty F. Fifty F. Yeah. Fifth Avenue. Fifty F Street. Exactly. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, teacher. Okay. Now,
Ahorita, ¿cómo te ve la cara ahorita? Ah, ahorita no te he hecho nada más. Ok, welcome back. Welcome. Um, let's practice the vocabulary. To ask and give directions, ok? How do I get to? Mm -hmm. Ok, uh, when you... When you want to ask for directions, you can use this question. Okay. Okay. Let me use my okay. Here. Okay. One question is: How do I get to? How do I get to? How do I get to Rockefeller Center? How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Como puedo llegar a How I can get How can I get to Brian Park? How can I get? How can I get to Brian Park? How, How can I get to Brian Park? Brian Park. Okay, excuse me, voy a silenciar los momento para dar la explicación y luego los activos. Okay. Okay, so. We have two questions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Bryan Park? Then, how can I give the directions? How can I give instructions? Okay, we have different forms. Walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Okay, so we use this uh, to express the, que vamos a subir en la numeración de una, ok, por ejemplo, aquí sería go up, porque los, los números van subiendo, ok, go up on Fifth Avenue, o sea que la Fifth Avenue va hacia, hacia arriba. Uh, si fuera que voy bajando, o sea, no es que sea cuesta, ¿verdad? Sino que la numeración va bajando. Sería el uh, go down, ¿verdad? Go down o walk down. Como ven, aquí los números van bajando. 49, 48, 47, 46. Ok. So, go up. Go down, walk up, walk down. Y el otro de go up es walk up. Walk, walk, walk. Mm -hmm. walk, walk, walk. Ot otra instrucción es turn left o turn right. Turn left, gira, cruza la izquierda. Turn right. Cruza la derecha. Y le digo, ¿dónde? Turn left on 49th Street. Cruzar. Turn left on 49th Street. Cruza la izquierda en la 49, calle 49. O turn right on 42nd Street. Cruza la derecha en la 42. And finally, it's on the right. Ya cuando yo estoy sobre la calle, ¿de qué lado de la calle está? Ok, it's on the right, el lado derecho. Or it's on the left, está del lado izquierdo. Ok, so this is the vocabulary we can use to ask and give directions. Ask and give directions, ok. It's on the right, it's on the left. Let's practice. 
Repeat, please. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. It's on the right. On the right. Now, how can I get to Bryant Park? How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Okay, very good, very good. Remember that uh, in uh, addresses, uh, damos los números también en número ordinal. Ya, yeah. igual que en español. Yeah. Son ordinal numbers. Igual acá, no decimos eh, dos avenida, ¿verdad? No, decimos segunda avenida, ¿verdad? Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue, 42nd Street. So, los números están Street. en ordinal. 49. ¿Ok? okay. ¿Any question with this? No questions? No questions. Okay, very good. Very good. So, let Teacher. me... Uh -huh. Dígame. Este sí, en, eh, se me olvidó la parte donde dice is on the left, es el lugar donde está o donde va a llegar. ¿Cómo fue que dijo? on the left, Exacto. dijo ya derecho, Cuando usted izquierdo. está sobre la calle, usted le dice... Ah, si cuando está sobre la calle. Izquierda. O a la derecha. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, for example, si yo estoy en el Empire State Building, ¿verdad? Y voy para la New York uh, Public Library. No, me dicen go up on Fifth Avenue. Subo, subo. Turn left. On 42nd Street, ¿verdad? it's on the left. Mm -hmm. Está a la izquierda. It's on the left, ok. It's on the left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, eh, si yo estoy en el Empire State Building, y voy para Grand Central Terminal, me diría, go up on Fifth Avenue. Go up. Go up on Fifth Avenue. ¿verdad? Fifth Avenue. Turn left. No, turn right. Vamos a la derecha. Turn right on 42nd Avenue. Right. ¿verdad? It's on the right. No, on the left. It's on the right. No, on the left. Vengo para acá. On the left. Vengo de la izquierda. On the right a la derecha, okay. Mm -hmm. On the left a la izquierda. Exacto. Ah, okay. On the, on the left. Bien, vamos a ver si podemos practicar esto con una actividad que les Okay. We have another map here. Tenemos aquí otro mapa, ¿verdad? Uh, este, este mapa ya se los compartí ahí en WhatsApp. 
En el WhatsApp, sí. We have different places here, okay? Central bus station, the parking lot, different lugares. Okay? También he compartido ahí en el WhatsApp unas preguntas. Que ruido se oye fuerte. Ok, fíjense por ejemplo, de acuerdo al mapa que yo les he dado, no, al, no a, a este último mapa. Si yo les digo, I am in the park, o sea, vamos a partir de ahí. De ahí van a partir. Y sigan las instrucciones que les doy acá. Go down. De este park. Avenue. Sí, de ese mapa. De este mapa dicho. De sí. este mapa dicho. Ok. Turn left on Clark Street. Leave on the right on the corner of Fleet Street and Clark Street. I get to. Me tienen que decir a dónde llegan. Siguiendo las, esas instrucciones. ¿Verdad? Van a definir a dónde llegan. Les voy, a, les voy a explicar todo y luego los dejo trabajar. Ok. ¿De dónde, ¿De dónde partimos? Number one. Park. 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 I am in the park. I am in the park. Number two. I am at mm. the police station. Police station. Number oh. two. I am on the, the second avenue. Y de ahí parte. Number three, dice, I am I at am Morrison's high, high school. school. Y de ahí parte. Ahora, number four is different. Number four, I am at Bethune Hospital. Y yo les pregunto, how do I get to Provincial Bank? Ahora ustedes me van a decir cómo llego desde el hospital to Provincial Bank. Y tienen que escribir dos, tres, cuatro pasos. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro lo que van a hacer? ¿Es clear? Sí. Haga la pregunta. Usted, no, 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 no. Okay. You work using this the vocabulary, okay? The same vocabulary. Go down, go up. La otra imagen. Turn left, turn right. Okay? Pero con esta imagen. La anterior. Ahí se las he colocado en el WhatsApp para que la puedan trabajar. Con esta imagen. Ok, lo voy a colocar en pareja para que lo hagan en pareja. La ferrocarril Saturn, Saturn Hotel. Ah, yes, yes. Ya le atravesaron el trabajo, te he Ok, work please in groups. A ver si me queda alguien sin grupo, lo, lo anexamos. Arely, José Castillo, no han entrado. Mm. 
Hmm, voy a mover a alguien. Ok, ya están todos asignados. Me dejó fuera, teacher. ¿A quién? En este castillo. Ah, oh, es que me aparece aquí. ¿Cómo que no ha entrado? No, aquí estamos. Sí, pero no ha entrado al, al, al grupo. Bueno, lo voy a asignar a alguno porque está en la sesión principal. Usted ve, está conmigo. Sí. Pero ahorita vamos a ver. Eso está, Todos están bien. Ahí está Arely. Arely no ha entrado tampoco. Están aquí en el principal los dos. Arely está ahí. Arely. Bueno. Ok, Castillo lo vamos a asignar a otro entonces. Por esa calle. Camina hacia abajo de la calle. Claro. Ajá. Eh, gira a la derecha. Linda está con Avenue. Sobre la segunda avenida. Uh -huh. Cruza a la derecha. Sobre Kennington Stay, ¿no? ¿Cómo se dice? Okay. Es on the right. 
Uh -huh. Okay, but is, please practice in English, not Spanish. Is, okay. uh, is on the right. Right derecha, va? Yes. Vaya, si, como no la tenemos en pantalla, si gusta se la leo yo y usted se ubica. No. Vaya, I'm on the police station. Va a cambiar a Kingston Street. Sí. Porque ¿qué hay, qué hay en Kingston Street? Que si es lo más raro que viene de par de de Horizon, Texas. Espera, espera, espera. Y rapidito llega a Kingston. ¿Qué significa across from? Enfrente. Enfrente, sí. Enfrente, entonces sería esa. Weather Department Store. Wex. 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 Son. Department Store. Hasta ahí. Bien, en la tercera estamos ya, ¿no? Uh -huh. Sí, en la tercera. Busquemos Max, entonces. Ah, va, no. está bien. Vengo de... Vengo del gas station. Eh, sería para la high school. Va. Dice... Go, gua, go, uh -huh, go work. Um, go way up the Tears Avenue. Mm -hmm. Este es el Second Street Bank. Mm, aquí está. Está por post office. Y estoy en el hospital, supuestamente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Del hospital. Ok, entonces es... Go down... On... Segunda. Yeah. Yeah. En, <coughs> en el Museo de Museo de Arte, ¿no? Te llamé, oh, perdí. Tom, Thompson Coffee. En Tree Avenue. Tree Avenue. ¿A dónde sería? Tree Avenue. Es, is on the left. Ah, no, permítanme. Ah, sería en um, Avenue. O sea, sería como que vamos derecha. a ir al, vamos a ir al, al inverso. De vamos la, vamos a bajar go, go, go down. Porque ah, vamos para que... abajo. Go down. Sí, y luego dice de Ajá. que a la derecha en Kensington. O sea, es como que vamos a pasar por el library. Luego uh -huh. dice a la izquierda. En Second Avenue, ahí vamos bajando. O sea, porque vamos a ir a la esquina donde está Hog, Hog Drug Store. Y vamos sí, a la, ah, que te facilita, facilita más porque tiene las preguntas. Yo no ah, las sí. tengo. <ríe> sí, es chévere, sí, bueno. No, pero sí, las, las, envió, las envió el WhatsApp. Ah, 
ya regresamos ya ok just one recommendation ok to everyone when you work in groups try to practice more English than Spanish okay. your Spanish is perfect <laughs> <laughs> you need to practice your English ok Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, vamos a terminar aquí. We are going to finish here, but I like you to put your answers in the in the group. That's our okay. Group. Solo pongan la respuesta. ¿Dónde llegaron? One, two, three. ¿Verdad? Okay. Mm. Los pasos. Si quieren poner. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Good. Si no terminaron, pues lo hacen despacio. Ahí sí, lo terminamos. Tienen todo. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Okay. Good, good night. night. Good, good night. 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 Okay, yes. 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 Mm -hmm.